Her car was damaged, her nerves shaken. Exclusive tonight, the victim of what she describes as a mob attack with her two children in the back seat of her car. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Hong talked to that mother tonight. Eric? Brian Cathy, police say two people have been arrested and charged, but that woman says several dozen people were involved in the incident. Her two kids left covered in broken glass. The encounter left several dents in the vehicle. The back window shattered and Susan Pedersen shaken. I'm very scared, very, very anxious, nervous, just fearful. It happened around 9 last night at 60th and King Drive across from Washington Park, where tonight broken glass still litters the pavement. Pedersen says she had just dropped off a friend at the University of Chicago, her daughter and son in the back seat, when she says she stopped at a red light and found herself surrounded by several dozen young people. They were walking around both sides of the vehicle, in the front, in the back, and as they were walking across, they were hitting my car using racial slurs and telling me that I didn't belong in their neighborhood because I was white. The group all African-American, she says, kicking the vehicle and shaking it violently. She says one person was on a bicycle, the group using it as a battering ram, shattering the back window, glass flying into this third row seat where three-year-old Benjamin was seated. What did they throw through the back window at you? Um, a bike. The broken glass yeah, leaving cuts on the board. Who threw the bicycle? Pedersen says a police car, which happened to be nearby, arrived and the group scattered. Police say two juveniles were arrested. Pedersen tonight still unnerved. This is something that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Police say those two juveniles have been charged with misdemeanor criminal damage to property, but Pedersen says this was more than a property crime and she would like to see more serious charges filed. Live in Grand Crossing, Eric Hong, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Ron? All right, Eric, thank you.